So do you have piles and piles of paperwork all over your home, all over your office? How does it make you feel if and when you can't find what you need? Do you get angry? Are you overwhelmed? Are you frustrated? Well, I've got a few tips for you if you are. My name is Brenda Tringali. I'm a certified professional organizer and the owner of At Your Fingertips Organizing. So here's the deal. You need to go through your paperwork and only keep what you need and purge the rest. I have clients who have mail um, that, that they received years and years ago and never opened it, literally never opened the envelope. So if that applies to you, you're not alone. So people always say to me when they call me for the first time, oh, I'm going to be your worst client ever. And the answer is, no, I bet you're not. <laughs> anyway, um, but the truth is it has to get done, right? If you don't do it, who's going to do it? Uh, if you can't do it alone, find someone to help you, maybe a friend, a family member, someone someone that you can trust. Um, if you don't have anyone that can help you for free, hire someone. doesn't have to be me, although I love going through paperwork with people and helping them corral it and come up with a system, a custom system that works for them. Um, but it doesn't have to be me. Just um, make sure if you hire someone, it's someone that you can trust. Do references. Last but not least, um, I'll include a link to my blog. Check out my blog with more detailed steps on how to handle your paperwork, and that includes the use of document retention guidelines, which tell you how long to keep certain documents. So the question is this, my friend, how much paperwork will you purge? I would love to know. And um, I want to take a minute before I sign off just to talk about the future of this daily declutter challenge. First of all, thank you so, so much for joining me on this journey. I hope that you have learned some new things. I hope this has motivated you and inspired you to declutter. Um, but all things must come to an end. Now, I have loved, loved, loved doing these videos every day for the month of January, which happens to be Go Month or Get Organized Month. But unfortunately, I need to make a change. So th um, this is what I want. I want you to continue decluttering every day, even just one item a day. I would prefer that it be more. I'm not going to lie to you. Set those, set that bar high, but, de but declutter at least one thing a day because I always equate it to exercise. If you, if you don't exercise, the first time you exercise, it will be very painful. And that's the same with decluttering. You, you need to exercise that decision-making muscle. So, um, and when I say that muscle, I'm talking about that you make the decisions, whether to keep something, what, whether to get rid of something. If you haven't done it a lot, it's hard. But the more often you do it, the easier it will become. I promise you. It's just like exercise. So please keep decluttering. Um, and this is what I will do. Um, make sure that you are signed up for my email list. And if not, just go to my website, which is at your fingertips or organizing.com and sign up for, on my contact page and then you will be signed up for my emails and you will find out the next steps. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so, so much um, for joining me on this journey and um, please stay tuned. Um, we have a lot more work to get done. Thank you so much. Take care and God bless.